Transformers are essential for our everyday life, as without them we wouldn't be able to make benefit of electricity as much as we do. They allow us to increase or reduce the voltage without losing practically any power. These machines consist basically in two copper windings and an iron core, which increases the magnetic field's intensity. Depending on the amount of turns of each winding, the voltage will be reduced or increased. Their work in principle is based on Faraday's lens law, which states that in order to induce a voltage in a given circuit, a magnetic flux must change with the time. And as electric currents are linked with magnetic fields, if these currents change, the magnetic field will change too. The magnetic field is all over the air, but see what happens when we place the core. Now the magnetic field has been reinforced and directed to the second winding. This happens because the core is between two and three orders of magnitude, which is between a hundred and a thousand times better than air for conducting magnetic fields. The magnetic field now goes through the second winding, inducing a voltage. In this case, the output voltage will be greater than the input voltage, as the second winding has more turns than the first one. Also note that the induced voltage opposes the voltage of the first winding, which means the electric current on the second winding will always generate a magnetic field that opposes the original one. Although this device has no power loss ideally, in real life it's a bit different. One reason is due to eddy currents. They are generated due to induced voltages in the core. So in order to mitigate this effect, the cores are built with electrically isolated plates, reducing the amount of current that flows unnecessarily through the core.